What is up, everyone? Uh, okay, so first off, I just realized that the last video, I forgot to, um, you know, do a uh, word of the day. And uh, I guess today's word it is, no, is, um, practice. So, uh, learn some sign language and practice. Okay. Uh, also, at the last video, I had forgot to show the, uh, the Rubik's Cube that I am still having a problem with. I feel like it's actually easier than I'm th making it out to be, but it's still complicated to me. So, there's that. I was actually going to, like, do this video a little bit earlier, but I was in a really bad mood, and, um... I kind of wanted to do the video like um, when the other roommates were like out so that I could like shout. But one of the room, like, you know, that's not happening because it's a Monday. Uh, but I I actually am very frustrated because um, normally on Sundays I do a podcast. I host a podcast where I just talk for like a good 30 minutes nonstop about whatever. And uh, trust me, it's not gender centric. So don't worry about you know these females be you know if you if you've seen any of my older videos i have one video in particular that basically specifies that i don't do the whole alpha male crap and the gender motivated crap because i don't i don't care about that but my podcast is usually uh talking about like either politics or my random perspective on things or just random stuff that i just felt like talking about at the time like you know one thing about me is once i get started talking i don't stop uh which is why i'm trying to uh which is why I'm trying to learn sign language. I forgot the word now. Now. Or is it now? Now. Um, so, uh, I, you know, I figured the more sign language I learn, the less I'm going to actually speak because I'll start incorporating sign language into like my mannerisms. And, you know, just like, you know, it's like for anybody who knows sign language or know was like, you know, I'll probably be able to say one thing and sign something else. And I'll just be like, yeah, man, I'll be, yeah, man, I'll be reading the signs sometimes. Now I read, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's that. But yeah. But no, I, uh, but like I do, a, I normally do a podcast every Sunday. And um, this, um, if it's some strange, and I do it on this website called Anchor. And Anchor, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I, I do Anchor differently than I do my YouTube videos. On my YouTube videos, I just record stuff on my camera and then just directly upload it into the YouTube. Two-step process, whatever. Um, with the Anchor, it's actually a one-step process because I record directly into the site. And, uh, you know, because they'll automatically save it into the site's library. I just upload that into the, the episode and... Boom, I'm good for the moment. And I don't, I rather, I actually like doing it that way for Anchor because I don't like pre-recording. I just like just, just turn, pressing the record button and just doing it. And for some strange reason, it wouldn't save into the library. I had a, I did like two takes of this thing. Two takes. And it wasn't saving into the library. I'm still mad about it. I'm, 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 I'm trying, but I'm going to, you know, out of respect for my roommates, I'm not going to yell. So. Uh, those two takes. Oh man, it really stressed me out. Uh, and especially because like the the subjects I wanted to bring up is uh, ironically about YouTube. Because uh, I wanted to talk about how um like uh, anybody who knows me personally, they know that I am not like you know I'm not really a big like a lot of internet humor nowadays is like basically like Schadenfreude, and I don't really get uh I really don't get like a kick out of a uh, watching other people in pain unless I know for a fact like it's context that's made obvious that the person who was in pain did something wrong like you can't just show me a picture of a little kid falling down and be like hey, that's funny I'm not gonna be like that's funny I'm gonna be like I hope the kid's okay you know it's like dude the kid's okay bro it's like yeah but I don't know that because the video just shows them falling down it's like it doesn't show them getting back up brushing themselves off it just shows them falling down and crying and it's like I'm, I'm gonna feel bad because I'm emotionally linked to that emotion i'm not I, I, like i said schadenfreude is just not a thing for me for those who don't know what schadenfreude is is 
a German word for happiness of the misfortune of others. And uh, like the only way I'm going to be happy at anybody else's misfortune at this point is unless they're like a diehard Republican, like the Santa supporter or something. And it's like, you know, like they just like, like, you know, if you're a DeSantis supporter, a video of you falling down and slipping on a banana pill is going to be like hilarious to me because like, ha ha, that's DeSantis supporter sucks. Um, yeah, because like my idea of uh, humor when it comes to that is I have to genuinely hate the person that the bad thing is happening to. I can't be emotionally connected to them in a positive way. OK, so there's that. But, um, you know, but like since a lot of Internet humor is schadenfreude, I don't like like laughing at schadenfreude. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's just because I don't have a sense of, a sense of humor. Because the thing is, also, if it looks like I'm sweating, I'm really not. I'm just I got like three lights on me. I got like this light, that light. No, I got two lights on me. And one of them is like ridiculously bright on my face. So I'm just going to sh show you all a little bit. So, you know, you notice how I just wipe my head and it still looks relatively shiny. See, and I look at my hand, it still looks relatively shiny, but that's only because there's a light behind the thing. Um, so there's that. So, but it's like, I do realize now, thanks to YouTube, I realize that I am a fan of stand-up comedy. I will listen to stand-up comedy specials. I think one of the few things I kind of don't, because I'm an overthinking person, you know what I mean? Like, I I, uh, I realize that I tend to, like, I like to dig deeper into things, you know? I, I don't, like, you can't just give me part of the story. You can't just give me, like, a two-second joke. And not explain, like, you know, because if I don't know what's funny, I'm not going to think the joke was funny. You know, and one thing about uh, these comedy specials is, like, they will, in fact, explain to you for at least a good hour why the joke was funny. That's something that, like, I, that's something that I can just appreciate, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you're going to, it's like, you're going to, it's like, you're gonna, not only are you going to tell me the joke, but you're going to tell me why the joke is funny. That makes it even funnier. One thing I like about the stand-up comedy is that, like, um, is that, like, they, uh, you know, like, they, you know, like, stand-up comedy, it, to me, is just another form of storytelling, and as a kid growing up, I used to love, you know, the idea of hearing a story being told, you know, reading Rainbow, that one show with the, with Kino, the talking puppet, going, story, 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 I love that show, I forgot what it was called, it was, I was a child then. Um, but, you know, stuff like that. So it's like I've always sort of been intrigued by somebody just sort of telling a story. And even if it doesn't go anywhere, I just, like, you know, thanks for passing the time for telling me this. I am, I'm intrigued. I'm enthralled. And, uh, you know, sometimes the thing about comedians is that, like, you know, you kind of get a chance to encounter somebody whose entire coping mechanism for all of their failures is to make a joke out of it. So here I am. So if I ever were to think, oh, wow. This comedian is better than me because they're successful. They're getting paid money to just talk in front of a group of people. You know what I'm saying? They'll basically, you know, I just have to pay attention to what exactly they're talking about. Because they'll be talking about some of the dumbest things or their worst moments or their like just biggest flubs and mishaps. And I'll be like, wait a minute. They're normal? <laughs> they're not perfect? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, maybe I am sweating. No, no, I'm not sweaty. This shirt is just, oh my goodness. Cause it's like, what? I, this is embarrassing. Oh, well, whatever. I'm fat. Okay. Underneath this shirt is just a whole lot of mass. Okay. It's a lot. Um, but yeah, like I realize now that I'm a big fan of stand-up comedy and, uh, you know, it's, it beats the shot in Freud a little bit, you know, it beats all the, I like, I categorize, every, you know, because I'm an overthinker, I categorize everything and there's forms of humor that I thoroughly enjoy. Number one, obviously I'm not, no, I'm not going to even going to rank them. There's no numbers here, but like, you know, obviously stand-up comedy is one of the ones that I enjoy. Another one that I enjoy is mime humor, you know, uh, the idea of person just like doing all the silly bits and not saying one word the entire time, you know, it's like, it's a very, it's a very underrated, uh, act of comedy, you know, it's like, you know, cause you, you do com you do a mime comedy with a slapstick, you got Tom and Jerry, I'm not a fan of slapstick humor though, I'm not a fan of physical humor, cause you know, it's like, once again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see some, I don't want to see somebody get hurt and not understand why they got hurt, I can't look at somebody get hurt and be like, lol, that's funny, you know, other people can do that, I can't, but like, you know, you do stand-up comedy, you do, like, mime work, you know what I mean, that's, that's hilarious to me, you know, Harpo Marx was a genius, okay, 
uh, another genre of um, uh, YouTube videos that I thoroughly enjoy is um. Uh, all right, so a little context with this one. I was younger, over a decade, maybe like a good decade or so ago. I got uh, scammed by, uh, I think, somebody out in the Virgin Islands, which I don't understand why they're called the Virgin Islands when they were colon when some of them were like colonized or whatever. Were they colonized? I don't know. But like the fact that I, I just call them the islands now. Okay, so. But it's like I remember like it was somebody out there in the. I don't want to say Dominican Republic or whatever, probably like Haiti around there. And I got scammed. And, um, you know, so because these people were evil, I just assumed that they just get away with it. And, and yes, they are evil. Like, you know, imagine how evil you have to be to just completely dehumanize somebody just to make yourself feel better. Oh my God, my hair is messed up and I don't care. Um, just to dehumanize another person. You know what I mean? So it's like, of course, I'm going to think that they're evil for that. It's like, it's like in order for you, it's like, you know, you could have easily conned a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? You could have easily conned a billionaire. You could have scammed any rich person. And instead, you go after poor people. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're a monster for that. Like, bro, I have no money. Like, none. And you took what little bit of money you could try to get out of me and, like, have me get it sent to you. And, like, you know, to this day, I learned it. I never, you know, to to this day, I just tell these scammers up front, like, I'll answer the phone and just be like, bro, what makes you think I have money, bro? <laughs> well, what, what, how much money do you think I have, man? You have my phone number. You probably might have my personal information. What money do I have, man? Take a note. I got, uh, once again, I don't live by myself. So I love uh, getting up. Like, so I got up. So like watching these. Uh, so watching uh, channels like Scammer Payback and Trilogy Media and um, stuff like that is. Um, I just missed a really funny moment when my roommate just did that. I could have just looked at you. Did you say that? I could have. Uh, this moment's dead now. But uh, yeah, there was. Um, but like, you know, scammer payback, trilogy media, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Getting a chance to see people. These people actually like you know, these 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 are just normal people. This isn't like the American government or anything. These are just like normal guys who just happen to know how to hack. You know what I'm saying? And it's just wild to me. So like so like, you know, to see those things happen and it's like like to put this in perspective, this is like these you know, this is a, an attack on America. You know what I'm saying? You got like, it's like, you got like all of these, it's like, you have like all of these like local government, local state governments and federal governments and stuff like that. And they're all talking about something, you know, we, we're, we're trying to protect America. We're trying to protect America, you know, protect American citizens. It's like, bro, you can't even protect us from phone scams. Regular people are doing the work that you guys should be doing. You know, because you guys think that, I mean, with everything that's going on in America, you know, rampant homelessness, the econ you know, economic downturn, COVID getting us, you know what I'm saying, all of these things and more happening. And you guys are actively fighting against and challenging drag queens. What? <laughs> you can't even, like, like you, you can't even protect us from scam phone calls. But drag queens are like your top priority. Are you serious right now, man? Like, like what? It's so dumb, man. It's so, so dumb, so dumb. And it's like you know. By the way, Happy Pride Month. I, I don't know. Like, I want to be an ally. I want to be considered an ally. But I do know, and I want to make this very clear. I do know that I will never consider, I, I'm not going to call myself an ally, but I want to be an ally. The reason why I'm not going to call myself an ally is because I might say something that might come off as homophobic or transphobic or just really, really, really ignorant. And I want it to be clear that I'm not homophobic, I'm not transphobic, I'm just dumb. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, I, I am capable of making mistakes because I am not a smart man. I am not... Uh, uh, I'm not a guy who knows the right way to come across certain things that I don't know about. I myself am not a member of the LGBTQ community. At least I don't think, you know, <laughs> but it's like because I don't consider myself to be a part of it. I don't know much about the community. So 
I'm more than certain that I will say something dumb or do something dumb and it's going to come across as something that may or may not be offensive to the community. So I don't want to say that I'm an ally, but I will say I want to be. Just like how I would never say I'm a good person. I will say that I want to be a good person because, you know, while I might, I consider myself to be morally, I want, you know, I just want, you know, I want peace, love, happiness, safety. I say it in every, after every video, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I do know that like, I, I will say this though, while I, you know, like I, while I, while I'm waiting for somebody to, you know, consider me an ally while I'm waiting to be like dubbed an ally of that community, I will say this, drag queens are literally not nearly as big of a threat as uh, people who become Catholic priests because they know that it's going to get them, you know, get them sort of exonerated from uh, hurting children. You see what I'm saying? It's just wild to me. Like Matt, like, Matt Gates will always stress me out. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Oh God, this video is like going over a couple of minutes, and I apologize for that. I just, I'm really, like I said, I wanted to talk about most of this stuff. Uh, you know, during during um during my podcast, and I just couldn't, and I just been holding it in, and you know, I actually, I wanted to actually say more about this. And I, but I don't really like going over 15 minutes and I am going over 16 minutes now. Uh, I might do a twofer later, um, or something. Uh, but right now that is it. Happy pride month, uh, to heck with anchor. Uh, you know, like seriously drag, like, you know, like keep doing what you're doing. Scammer payback, trilogy media, Jim Browning, Kit Boga, you know, Shoot, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna learn me up some hacking skills, and I'm gonna try to join that like right with you because like I I know good and well. Shoot, these guys gotta get these guys gotta get got. It's really sad to me that like when I think of India, when I used to think of India, you know, before I got scammed, I used to think of like you know, you know like um, when I used to you know like you you told you said India to me, I would immediately think of the the cool clothes. You know what I'm saying? The beats, the, the 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 robes, and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? The music, the uh, the films, and the people. The, there's a lot of beautiful people in India. Like they are, these are ridiculously beautiful people. And you know, granted, but it's like it's wild to me because like yeah, now you talk to me about India, it's gonna probably be it's gonna be like I mean, great country, probably really cool people in it, but you know, fascist leader and ridiculously screwed up scam industry. Like what the heck? You know, India is really getting, like, overshadowed. You know, India's culture is basically getting overshadowed by scam industry. That's not... That's... Come on, man. There's so much more that y'all could do. Uh, Man, I really wish that I didn't go over. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Love, peace, happiness, safety to every single person out there. And, um, you know, uh, yeah. I might try to do a comedy bit after this. I don't know. Be easy.